All right, I'm going to just show you a quick video on finding the area of a parallelogram. And it is the same as finding the area of a rectangle. Area equals base times height. Um, the difference is with a parallelogram, like you see here, um, of course, all sides are, uh, the opposite sides are parallel, but you can't use this height, the slanted height. The height is always going to be perpendicular to the base. So here you have your base, and then this will be your height. And sometimes they'll show it over here, like you'll see the little dotted line. They'll do something like that but you'll see the box showing that it's perpendicular and that can be your height as well. So let's jump right into an example. All right, so here, this parallelogram, the base is eight feet and you see the height is four feet and you plug it into your formula, area equals base times height so the area is the base is 8 and the height is 4. So 8 times 4 is 32 feet squared. So the area of this parallelogram is 32 feet squared. Sometimes they will ask you to find the area of the shaded region. And when they mean, like here, uh, you see the parallelogram, but you also see a rectangle in the middle. And they'll ask you to only find the area of the shaded region. So that just mean that colored in um, spot. So the first thing you need to do is understand, of course, you're going to have to find the area of this parallelogram, but you're going to also have to find the area of this rectangle. And when you find the area of the parallelogram, and then you'll find the area of that rectangle, and you will subtract that. So let's say that uh, the dimensions of this rectangle is that's two feet, and let's say this is eight feet. All right, so then if the dimensions of this parallelogram is like 12 feet, and let's say the height over here is, uh, let's say, 6 feet. So you find the area of this parallelogram. So the area of the parallelogram is 12 times 6, and 12 times 6 is 72. So the area of that parallelogram is 72 feet. So the area of this larger figure is 72 feet. And then, but if you look, it's kind of like the, the box, the rectangle is a little space that's being cut out of that parallelogram. So you're going to have to subtract that space. So the area of that rectangle is base, which is 8, times height, which is 2. So the area of that rectangle is 16 feet square. I forgot to write square. So all you would do is take the area of this shaded region, I'm sorry, of this parallelogram, which is 72 feet, and then you subtract 16 feet from that area of the parallelogram. And that's going to give us 56 feet square. So the area of this shaded region, everything in the blue, that is 56 feet square. Don't forget, you found the area of the big poly, the parallelogram, and you subtracted the area of the rectangle from it. All right, here, let's say I want to find the area of the shaded region this time. If you notice, you have a parallelogram inside of a rectangle. So let's find the area of the rectangle first. So let's say the area of this entire rectangle, uh, the basis will just say 10 feet and um, the height here is four feet. So the area of the rectangle is base times height. 
So the area of that large rectangle is 40 feet square. But then I want you to find the area of the parallelogram. So um, let's say the parallelogram's base is eight feet and the height of the parallelogram is also four feet. So let's find the area of the parallelogram and that is base, which is eight times the height, which is four. So the area of the parallelogram is 32 feet square. But they just want to only know the area of this shaded region. So we found the entire area of the rectangle, which is 40 feet. And we're going to have to just subtract the area of the parallelogram from that, which is 32 feet. So we all the only thing that's left is this little shaded region. And that is eight feet squared. The area of that little small shaded region is eight feet squared. And let's just say you were carpeting, putting carpet in a room and um, they wanted you to only carpet this region. And um, you would do the same thing in real life. Like if you were to find the area, you need the area of only this little shaded region. It's the same thing. Sometimes they will give you the area of the parallelogram and they'll ask you to find the base or they'll ask you to find the height. So let's say I tell you that the area of a parallelogram is 36 feet square and the base is 12 feet and I want you to find the height. The height is going to be your variable. So if the area, and you just plug it into this formula, area equals base times height. So if the area is 36, here I'm going to rewrite it down here. If the area is 36 and the base is 12, you just have to solve for the height. That's all you're doing. So, of course, you're multiplying 12 times H, so that means you're going to have to divide both sides by 12 to get that 12 by itself. I'm sorry, to get that H by itself. 36 divided by 12 is 3, so the height of that parallelogram would be 3 feet. That's how you would do a problem like that. All right, on this problem, I want you to find the base of a parallelogram with the area 26 and a half feet and the height six and five eighths feet. All right, we're gonna plug it into this formula. We have 26 and a half, that's your area, equals base, that's what we're trying to find, and the height is six and five eighths. When you are working with fractions, the best thing to do is go ahead and rewrite your fraction as an improper fraction, which means the donut method, you're going to multiply 2 times 26 and add 1. 2 times 26 is 52 plus 1 is 53, so you have 53 over 2 equals base, and we do the same thing. I like to call it the donut method. It's easy to remember. You multiply the denominator times the whole number. And then you come up here and add that product. So you have 6 times 8 is 48 plus 5 is 53. So you have 53 over 8. Um, you are going to do the same thing. We have B times 53 over 8. And so that means we're going to have to divide both sides by 53 over 8. And yes, we're working with fractions, but fractions are easy to get rid of once you gain that confidence. So of course they cancel, so you have B left behind, but you are dividing fractions. And when you divide fractions, all you have to do is multiply by the reciprocal. Don't forget the reciprocal is just pretty much flipping that fraction. 
So the reciprocal of 53 over 8 is 8 over 53. So you're going to have to multiply 53 over 2 times the reciprocal of 53 over 8, which is going to be 8 over 53. So when you are you have fractions and you're dividing fractions, you just multiply by the reciprocal. So 53 over 2 times the reciprocal of 53 over 8, which is 8 over 53. Um, these problems usually work themselves out to end up fairly easy because you see here these 53s are going to cancel. And so you're just left with 8 over 2. Right, 8 times 1 is 8, and 1 times 2 is 2. And you know what 8 divided by 2 is, that's 4. So the base of that parallelogram is 4 feet.